the perfect royal parents in waiting. How Harry and Meghan's tour has showcased their natural rapport with children, as they gravitate towards little ones at every engagement. They're expecting their first child together, and Harry and Meghan's tour of Australia has proved to be the perfect showcase for their natural parenting instincts. Both Meghan and Harry have been seen automatically gravitating towards their youngest royal fans throughout their Australian tour, much to the children's delight. The Duke and Duchess are both quick to crouch down to put themselves at eye level with their pint-sized admirers, calling to mind Harry's late mother Diana, who herself was famous for doing away with formalities to stoop or kneel to chat to children, or throw her arms around them for a cuddle. Parenting expert Anna Williamson said photos emerging from the first days of Harry and Meghan's royal tour suggest they will take to their new roles like ducks to water. Like Princess Diana, they are clear people persons, and by crouching down to be at the same level as their little fans, touching as a friendly gesture, and leaning forward to make eye contact, they make everyone they meet feel valued, the author said. The fact they make themselves so accessible to their young fans is preserving that magical image of princes and princesses that many youngsters have. In Melbourne on Thursday, pregnant Meghan delighted a little girl named Mia as she squatted down to have a conversation with the five-year-old on her way to Government House in Melbourne. After presenting the mum-to-be with a bouquet Mia told Meghan, I do ballet and it keeps me really busy, the young Mia appeared to tell Meghan, who responded, that's good. Do you love all of it? The Duchess isn't the only one to have charmed young well-wishers with Harry also making an effort with the kids. The prince has been seen crouching down to speak to dozens of children during his royal walkabouts, something that his mother Princess Diana was famed for doing. Anna said that their approach to speaking to youngsters is reflective of their unstuffy approach to public engagements. Speaking to the Mail Online she added, Harry and Meghan are not stuffy or removed from their public. Instead of waving stiffly from a distance, they remove all barriers and get up close and personal with their adoring supporters. Body language is warm and genuine, these new parents-to-be are going to take to their new roles like ducks to water. The active listening technique, which allows the adult to be at eye level with the child, is known as active listening, something that is also practiced by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with their own children. Child development expert Gil Connell says that the parenting technique is essential for communicating with kids. She previously told People magazine, Active listening is one of the most important ways you can send the message, you're important to me. Get down on the child's level, lean in and make eye contact. These simple messages foster self-esteem in powerful ways while encouraging him to communicate even more. As well as active listening, Meghan has been seen putting on a tactile display with her young fans and engaging in several hugs. And while this isn't unusual for the Duchess, who has often been seen hugging members of the public, it is for Harry who appears to have followed in his wife's affectionate footsteps. On Wednesday the couple received a couple from Luke Vincent, who has Down syndrome and is not very ball. After arriving in Dubbo, when Harry approached, the kindergartner immediately reached over to rub his beard before handing over the flowers to the Duchess of Sussex. He then enjoyed a big hug from Meghan before also embracing Prince Harry, taking the opportunity to have another rub of the royal's beard. Elsewhere the pair have been welcoming gifts from well-wishers across the country including plenty from little ones. And while the protocol is generally that members of the royal family pass the gifts back to their royal aides Meghan has been making an effort to show her gratitude. A necklace made from pasta and crafted by a little boy named Gavin was personally gifted to the 37-year-old royal as she greeted crowds in Melbourne. But rather than pass the handmade item back to her royal aides the Duchess could be seen wearing the accessory almost immediately. After waking up with a cough, Gavin Hazelwood, 6, called in sick to school. He made his way to the barriers along Government House Drive in Melbourne's Royal Botanic Garden with just one plan in mind to give Meghan Markle the necklace he'd spent all morning making. The necklace was made with blue ribbon and gold-painted pasta, and Gavin, wearing a mini pilot's uniform, caught the Duchess' attention with a sign that read, I made you a necklace. She was later seen sporting the necklace proudly with her custom-made Dionne outfit, Manolo Blahnik pumps and Martin Grant trench coat.